Okay, so um, we're trying to prove that the limit as x approaches 2 of 1 over x is equal to 1 half. So uh, we set it up. f of x minus l is less than epsilon. And um, x minus c less than delta. So this is what we want. This is what we know. Okay, now I need to somehow turn this guy so that it includes x minus c. So how about if we combine those two into one fraction with the denominator of 2x. So then I would have 2 minus x, which is actually, because it's absolute value, well, this is equal to x minus 2 over 2x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to leave the 2 outside of here and just put the, um, the x in the absolute value. Okay, now step three, uh, notice that I have control over x minus two, but I don't have control over x, so I need to bound x. So what I'm going to do is remember you assume that x minus two is gonna be less than one. Remember one is an arbitrary choice. So then if x minus 2 is less than 1, then that means that x is going to be between uh, 3 and 1. Okay. Now, um, then, okay, now here you have to be really, really, really careful. Okay, so then notice that um, the absolute value of x is on the denominator. So since you're trying to bound this, you're trying to bound this entire thing. So you have to be a little careful. I'm going to just put this right here. So 2 and then absolute value of x because this gets a lot of people. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Is this less than x minus 2 over 2 times, is it less than 3 or 1? So remember, so most of the time, you know, what students do is just pick the biggest one because you're trying to say this is less than another number. Well, of course, you would pick the bigger number because you want to say that it's less than that. But notice, though, that because this is in the denominator, this is bigger if you plug in 1 instead of 3. So if you want to say that for sure this guy is less than this, then you would have to put the 1 here because the 1 makes this whole thing bigger. So what you're saying is that uh, x minus 2 over 2x, if you assume that this guy is less than 1, then this is going to be less than x minus 2 over 2. And that's Im important to um, to realize. So um, that's a that's a tricky part. Okay. Now, step 4. Once you have that, then remember um, you solve for so we get x minus 2 over 2 is less than epsilon and we use that to solve for x minus 2. So then we go, okay, x minus 2 needs to be less than 2 times epsilon. Okay, once we do that, then we can choose delta to equal 2 times epsilon. And if we choose delta to equal to 2 times epsilon, then what we have 
is uh, x minus 2 over 2 times absolute value of x, which is less than x minus 2 over 2 is less than, I should add a since, since x minus c or x minus 2 is less than delta or 2 epsilon, then this guy is less than 2 epsilon over 2, which is equal to epsilon. That's it.